Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Ah, oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I brought you a gift. Wine. You know the way to my heart. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> I'm afraid not, unfortunately. Unfortunate for us both. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. She left me no choice. She never does. At least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth! Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Back off, Lucan. Watch your tongue, girl. We're not done talking, you imbecile. Give us a moment. Hmm. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie doesn't know. And I intend to keep it that way. You're fooling yourself if you think it's your secret to keep. And without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> What should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. I appreciate your honesty, Lord Tyrion. And I yours, Lady Mira. Although I doubt my sister will. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Must you leave? Sorry, didn't mean to wake you. 
You didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you... With all that's happened. What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are. We enjoy what we have. For as long as we can. I plan to. Roderick? Oh! I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh, I, I didn't realize you two were... Talia, what's so important? It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill Garrison are being held. It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons, but no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me, and mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you as your sister. I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now. Tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Get the guards. Hey, oh, my lord, you scared the bloody daylights out of. What's that? You tell me. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. Why, Royland? Why did you do it? Your father was the greatest lord I've ever known. But you! You've brought this house to ruin! You pushed me to this, Roderick. Don't you dare start making excuses. Excuses? Are you that naive? Look at you, Roderick. You're weak. You're weak. Just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. Ethan was a fool. 
And you've been making fool choices too, since the day you crawled off that corpse cart. Kissing Lud's ring, when you knew we had to show strength. Bungling your betrothal to Elena. Doesn't matter how either of you feel. Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. Letting Griff force you to the ground without a shred of dignity. Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed! Enough, Roiland! You've had every opportunity to save this family, but you've squandered them all.